Originally in Lake Tahoe, we had seven native species of fish. Today we see six of those species that still reside here, but there are many more non-native fishes that actually live here. The native fishes are things like the Lahontan cutthroat, the Tuichub, there is something called a Paiute sculpin, then there are several other uh, small fishes called minnows, one of them being the speckled dace, and another one is called the red-sided shiner. This is a native fish called a Tahoe sucker. Beginning back in the 1890s, man decided to tinker with the environment a little bit by introducing things like the lake trout, which came from the Midwest and the Great Lakes. They were put in as a recreational fishing opportunity. They tend to be a very large fish, and they still get very large out in Tahoe today. In fact, the state record was caught in Tahoe, and it was a 37-pound fish. Unfortunately, these Mackinac trout are very good predators, so they consumed a lot of the remaining cutthroat trout. The Lahontan cutthroat trout were the top predator in Lake Tahoe. Because of the large size of the cutthroat trout and the numerous population that was in the lake, there was a commercial fishery for them. And as much as 100,000 pounds of cutthroat trout were harvested from Lake Tahoe in a single year. And these fish were transported to the railroad, shipped west to San Francisco, and as far east as Chicago. Because there was an economic value on these fish, and it was relatively easy to go out and catch them commercially, the population really suffered. As that population began to dwindle from the overfishing and also from the environmental destruction that was going on in the Tahoe Basin at the time, um, they started putting in new species. There was introduction of the rainbow trout, the brown trout, the eastern brook trout. That's one of the non-native species that's found within the Tahoe Keys that seems to be growing in number, and we seem to be finding them around different parts of the lake. Introductions are still happening in Lake Tahoe today, but with more severe negative consequences. Native chub on top. This is a warm water introduced fish called bluegill that compete with this for food. What we've seen in the last 15 years is unsanctioned introductions of exotic fish species. And this includes largemouth bass and bluegill primarily. The problem we have is that these species are actually surviving in Lake Tahoe. Even though it's a cold oligotrophic lake, Largemouth bass and bluegill are thriving in the marinas around the shoreline. One of the lessons that people really need to understand and learn for Lake Tahoe is just to be very, very careful about introducing accidentally any kind of exotic plant or animal 